Use like bases, the like bases property to solve this equation. Okay. So if we can figure out what base 250, well, we know the base of 256 should be 2, so because we're going to have like bases. We just don't know the power. So let's go ahead and split this up using a factor tree. So that would be 2 and 128. So there's our 1, 2. And we'll divide by 2 again to get 64. And divide by 2 again to get 32. That's a 2. And 2 and 16. And then 2 and 8. And then 2 and 4, which is 2 and 2. I ran out of space there, so it looks kind of sloppy. But now I have 2 to the power of n equals 2 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, sorry, I kind of had to curve it around there so it would fit on the screen. So, but I circled all the 2s, so 2 to the power of 8. Since the bases are the same, we'll just get rid of those. And we end up with n equals 8. So that's a good point. We could change this to log form. So you'd have log base 2 of 256. And we've already looked at how to plug that into the calculator. You'd have log of 256 divided by the log of 2. Yeah, that's good. That would give you 8.